Hello, and if you made it to this part, you've already successfully logged in. Yay! Great job. Okay, so this is where our main screen is, and you're going to be walking through a lot of this with me. The icons are extremely small, so I apologize for that. I don't know how to make them bigger, but that's how it works. Now, up top, you'll see your dashboard, pages, content, portrait, yada, yada, yada. Yours might look a little different, have a few less things because I'm the teacher status. Um, first, you click pages up here at the top, and you'll see it changes our format. On the left, you'll see all the pages that we are going to be making this year. And if I grab this slider, I can slide it all the way down. As you see the bottom, we have 128 pages that we are going to be making this year. So first, if I click on page one right here, it shows page one. Now you might say it's really small. You can double click it. And it shows this is where we're going to put our opening page, pretty much like Cypress Park High School this year. How many kids? Principal is this? Yada, yada, yada. So we'll be create that page. And page two is where we'll start other things. Now, notice that this will happen. If you just start clicking all the different pages that are available, you are going to start. How should I say it? You're going to start walking on other people's things. So if other people are already in here you can actually overwrite what they've done and thus create a huge mess so someone has already locked the page so someone didn't close out the page correctly whoever was in here last so do you want to open up as editor as read only click yes so only you can read it only so page one and two or page two and three should i say that is really important to look at All right, so one thing that you'll have to notice is that on this preview window on the left side, you'll see these little tiny lock buttons. That means they're locked. So someone else might have locked it. Now, if you're trying to get to a page that you are assigned to and someone else clicked on your page and was checking it out and it's locked, you have to let me know. And everyone's got to X out if they have it open. And then I have to unlock it and then... X out of it. It's a really long process. So do not click around to anything you want to look at because it will mess everything up. Just think about that. So I'm going to, I'm seeing now I figured it out. You can actually, when you're on the edit section, edit tab, you can click the blue X up here. And do you want to save it? I'm going to click uh, don't save, but you know, obviously if you work on it all day, you want to save it. And you'll notice that the lock icons are off. Okay, another tab up here is list. It'll show you everything. Obviously, this just says like page 18, 19, 20. It's, we're going to actually name them so we know what's going to be on the pages once we create our ladder. And if you go to layout, you'll see all these other pages. You can kind of just see what it looks like. One thing that they're going to do is they're going to have signature pages. So the first 16 slash 17 pages are going to be a section that will be due before anything else. Anyway. Back to um, edit here. If I'm going to click on page four and five, if I click four, here's this. If I click on five, here's this. Now, these are just random pictures, a couple brief layouts that Pam set up and then found it was easier and quicker to do it herself just through a magazine. So we'll get you those layouts, but this is just practice for you. All right. So the next thing is that the more you click around this whole area, the more windows you're opening. Imagine you go into your house and every time you go up to a window, you open it. And then it starts to rain or it gets cold like it, it was the other day. You're going to have to close all the windows. So I'm on this page right now. It's, it's on the football page. And I can't just click on this one. Oh, I want to go check out the hurricane page now. I have to actually close this out. So that way it doesn't lock up and you see the lock disappeared. If I click on master here, which I did a second ago, I need to close this out so that way it remains unlocked. If I click on the hurricane page and then I just keep clicking and opening up everyone's things, then it's going to cause a problem with everyone else. So I'm locking it again or closing it out and you'll see that lock goes away. So in the Google Drive, you will see or Google Classroom, you'll see what pages you're assigned for this assignment. So I'm just going to click right here on page 10, 11. 
So you click on one page. If you click on the other, it opens up what we call a spread. Some basic things that we have here. Um, I'm not really great with terminology of all the yearbook things, but I'd like you to find your page that you're on and open up your page that you're supposed to be on from the Google Classroom. Do that now. Like, pause the video and do that right now. Cool. 